Welcome everyone, Dr. Mandel here. The majority of us love the computer, love our smartphone. We are tuned into that light that's reflecting into our eyes. That's directly affecting our brain. That's inhibiting melatonin. That's what allows you and I to sleep. And that's why it's important you should not have that glare or that light shining into your eyes at least one hour before you go to bed. It's also extremely important to try to keep your room as dark as possible. You'll notice that when you wake up in the morning and there's light shining through those blinds, you seem to get up much earlier than you should. So for those that sleep during the day, your melatonin is being inhibited. Therefore, it would be wise to take supplementation if needed to try to help that brain get back into the sleep cycle. Dosages are from 0.5 milligrams up to 5 milligrams. Most of the vitamins you'll see over the counter is 3 milligrams. Although it's always good to start on a lighter dose and work your way up, never more than 5 milligrams. If you're taking any other kind of medications, I would recommend to speak to your doctor about it. So the bottom line is that melatonin can be a great alternative over prescription drugs which have serious side effects. And make sure that if you have that bright light making its way into your eyes, to the brain, from your smartphone or computer, put it down an hour before you go to bed. That darkness will automatically allow your brain to secrete more melatonin to give you that good night's sleep. Please share this video with your friends and family. Leave your comments below, and most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.